Let's go back to the Gilly Crane Hotline. John Olive, the head coach for the Tullahoma Wildcats, joins us on line six. Uh, coach Olive, uh, hadn't had a chance to talk to you this year. Congratulations on a big win on the road in a tough place to play. Well, thank you very much. Uh, you got you got the win down in Giles County, and and your team is uh, the fifth win on the year. Uh, I talked to you at a middle school game before the season started, and uh, you you, you kind of chuckled with me, and you said it better be a good year. But I could tell that you felt good about this team early on, just because you handled that question really uh, humorously. Uh, talk about how how you felt about them early on, and how it's making them uh, making it come true. Well, we realized in May and June that this group was really putting forth a great effort. And in June, and when we came back out of the dead period, uh, we haven't had a team work as hard as this team uh, since 2011. And so we felt good from that standpoint. Now, we didn't know whether we had enough. We knew we were going to be faster, and then obviously when the Burks brothers transferred back, that that put us over the edge speed wise, and so uh, we got some offensive and defensive linemen that just bite their tails off every week, and that's what gives us a chance to win football games. And uh, I'm proud of this bunch. They moved from being below average to becoming average, and now we're working our tails off trying to become better than average. When you, when your best players are some of your hardest workers, your team's got a chance to be special, don't they? Yes. Uh, Dennis Weaver and Eric Keith talking to John Olive, the head coach for Telehome on the Friday Night Thunder scoreboard show. All right, Coach Olive, it's uh, Maplewood next week. You close out the season, uh, it appears, at home. Uh, what are you guys going to be working on this week uh, to finish the, the season on a, on a high note? Well, it's going to be a big challenge to us because it's going to be a letdown when our players find out that Nolansville – lost to Maplewood. If Nolansville had beaten Maplewood, we had a chance to get to the playoffs. Winner was on to go to the playoffs. Loser was done for the year. and That was going to make for a great ball game. Now uh, we, I don't think, will have a chance to make it to the playoffs, so it will be uh, a gut check to see if our kids will battle. Yeah, and uh, and, and that's kind of the so, way I had it, too. Uh, when, when, yeah. when do you but with the, the demeanor that your team has had all year long you don't expect them to drop off in their preparations for next week do you i don't but it, it you know you're dealing with 14 15 16 17 year olds <laughs> uh and the best thing is about that is that they're normally more resilient than we adults are right. you know they bounce back from things a lot faster uh as we uh, get ready to roll back toward Tullahoma, uh, we'll announce it. Most of them have already looked it up, I'm sure, by now. And uh, seen the score, we'll let it soak in for the weekend and then see if we can uh, get, come up with a game plan and let them go out and try to execute it and see if we can not finish with a winning record. All right, Coach, uh, congratulations on the win. Uh, more importantly, congratulations on the uh, uh, on the turnaround this year. Um, I uh, uh, I have a heck of a lot of respect for the job that you do, and even though uh, my, you, you're the, the rival of my alma mater, uh, I wish you the best nine weeks out of the season, buddy. Well, thank you. All right. I appreciate it very, very much. Coach, y'all have a great evening, and I appreciate y'all giving us a call. All righty. That is Coach John Oliver, Telehoma class, class act. Let's take a break for the stations on the network. It is the Friday Night Thunder Radio Network. <laughs> 